gentlemen, this is Bad Stainless. Welcome back to GTA 5. We're about to go meet our... Michael's about to go meet his friend, but he's calling his psychiatrist, which we'll Doc. find out now. Hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Michael can now see the doctor. Okay. Well, we're gonna go... I'm trying to stick to the main storyline in the series. Um, I don't want to get ca way caught up in all the outside stuff. Let's see. Um... We need to go... Not where Franklin. Well, maybe where Franklin. Maybe? We'll go to Franklin. No. What's L? Hold on. Gotta do this right, man. <laughs> uh, what's L? Lester. Oh, that's right. That's where we need to go. Go see Lester. Go see Lester. Thank you. Which car is mine? This is mine, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's do this! Uh, so yeah, it's been about, uh, I'd say 24 hours since I've played GTA. Um, took a nice little break yesterday. Um, picked up my car from the repair shop. Yeah, I know. Uh, fun, fun. Getting, uh, getting your car fixed is never a fun experience, ever. With rental cars and all that stuff. Never fun. Never fun. Alright, let's get over here in our superior driving skills. Oh, yeah. Got this. On the highway. Uh, go meet Franklin. Apparently we're going to get back into the game with Michael. See what that means for us. See what we'll be dealing with. Oh man, trap. Wait. Okay, keep going straight. Keep going straight. Oh crap. Gotta take it back to the body shop. <laughs> oh. We can do this. It's a long drive, actually. Never been out this way. Exit here. Take a nice lefty. Don't hit the motorcycle. Yield to bikes always. Always yield to motorcyclists and red lights. <laughs> who the fuck is Lester? Let's find out who Lester is. You know, let, let's park it. Let's do a nice little, little parky McParky job. All right. Is this your house, Lester? It is your. Whoa. Lots of cameras, dogs. All right. We'll see what's going on here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> really? You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. Whoa. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Uh-oh. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink. 
Wow. And a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm gonna he knows way too much, work. man. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? <laughs> well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s <laughs> bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. <laughs> Burgers, really? The minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call All me right. when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Whoa. Just like the old days. <laughs> With the asthma <laughs> inhaler. Really? Go to the suburban store in Vinewood. Wow, that's a little interesting. What's with the backpack? <laughs> I can't even say that whole sentence. The the not so in so nineteen nineties backpack forty year old thingy. That's awesome. Alright, let's see where we gotta go. Go to the Suburban store. Oh, it already gives me everything. Alright, cool. I can deal with that. Let's do this! I feel like I've been here before, but I haven't. Yeah, back on the highway. Lester seems like a crazy ass character, man. He's just all about it. <laughs> I don't get what we're doing, but we will figure that out for sure. What? The Mini Cooper. See that? Came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, concrete truck. I hate those right now. That's what destroyed my car. It was not my fault, by the way, for my car getting hurt. Uh, was it here? No, of course it wasn't. Never back off on the highway, people. No, I was driving down the highway, and a stupid concrete truck decided to uh, spill 4,000 pounds of, like, rock everywhere and really, really, really messed up the front of my brand new car. Really made me mad. I've only had it a week, so... Not good stuff. All right, we'll just cut in front of here. Yep, no big deal. Not my car, it's a rental. <laughs> hey, the car. Hey. Hey, that's my car. Really? Uh, LA drivers, what can you say? <laughs> Just driving in the middle of the road like it's nothing. Alright. We are almost there. Let's hope we do this right and don't have to drive all that way again. Suburban store. Hey, man, you learn something every day. Yeah, brother. Totally. Let's walk into the suburban source, see what we see. What is the deal? Ah, excuse me. Let's see. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? <laughs> That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Wow. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. I would punch her in the face, man. What about a vest and some cargo shorts? 
Alright. What? Oh. A vest and some cargo shorts? Oh man, we're going we're going big here. Um That's a hundred and twenty dollars? We'll go with that. Alright. Uh yeah. Yeah, overwrite. That was a weird place for a save. Oh, we need shorts now. Yep, we need shorts. Whoa, we get shoes that match too, huh? <laughs> um, we'll go with that. That works. Do I look good? Do I look good? Bye now. Thank you, you uppity bitch. No, I'm just kidding. She's nice. I wouldn't hire her for a job. What is with the backpack? That's what I want to know. Let's make a quick little little uh, U-turny here. Lester. What's happening? Michael. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the light invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Ow! So someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. I gotta act entitled. This is gonna be interesting. Ooh! How many traffic violations have I violated today? <laughs> Why is every light... Oh, I passed it. Every light is red, I swear. Oh, we go right here. Alright. Go to the rear entrance. Well, I'm assuming the rear entrance is around the rear. I know it doesn't sound like it make a lot of sense, but it probably is. Oh, man. Alright, can we get over this? Thank you. Is this the rear? Is this the rear? No. <sighs> Damn rear entrance. Nope, that wasn't the rear. Oh, hi. Hi, lady. <laughs> Alright, rear entrance. No, not the rear entrance. Rear entrance? Rear entrance. Life invader. Interesting. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ah. Uh. PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Wow. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I I T temp, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one <laughs> out of the database uh, no. if you know what I mean. <laughs> Follow the programmer. Invader zone. Yoga zone. Tech stop. Sweat lodge. Uh, I've I'm actually been in the Google building before. Release. It's kind of like consulting this. consultors. Has like toy rooms and sauna rooms and massage rooms. Hi. It's insane. Oh hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Chill out on oh, the oh. beanbag. Alright, let's see. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ben Michael doesn't even know how to use it. Oh, computer. you've been added on this PC. Uh, got any antivirus software? Oh, boobies! I think so. Sensors, boobies. Jumped on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. 
Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the wow, pop-ups. Pop -ups. Damn. What I can do. Your son codes? That's a lot of pop-ups, man. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Wow, these are some serious pop-ups so here. For some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. They gotta send me on another one of those seminars. Run the antivirus, really? Might I tempt you with some organic chow? Scan! Fair trade Java? There it goes. Oh, get rid of that shit. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. Exterminate. These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw Wow. Yes. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? <laughs> hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Demo room. Let's see. All right, rig it up. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Why don't we get out of here? Very safely that's a meme right there look at them all fucking and dancing blue screens again Bye. Oh, my God. goodbye goodbye ow you got to learn the foot bag if you're going to get a job here really some a hole drank my A totally non-passive aggressive mode on it. You. Thank you. Wow, that was my cat. Hey, what's up? Uh, watch the keynote at Michael's house. Okay, so we gotta go to Michael's house. Uh, well, let's. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya. Lester, the things in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. Teabag time. Did you my hear friend. me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. True. Now, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Let's see. Let's watch the key. Um, let's fit. Ah, uh, I don't want that car. That car's lame. Honey, I'm home. I've been sleeping with the freaking... Oh my god, you guys are so lame. Out. No, I'm watching Famer Shame. Nope. Give me that. Hey, Matt. Uh, change the channel. There it is. Let's see. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Really? Today, you're about to witness a new phase. A new phase. Full on, weapons grade, red alert, world domination. Interesting. They're so happy. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. Wow. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years. 
That's not just impressive. It's revolutionary. Wow. <laughs> Child slavery much? Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. <laughs> really? Docking? The Life Invader mobile device. All right. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked. I pulled out my phone. Seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some How do I call? Dock, dock, dock. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we Boo. made it compatible anyway. Come on. I'm now trying to call. How do I make a goddamn call on this phone? An iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. Contacts. Jay Norris. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, Holy no, 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 no. shit. Blew his Whoa. fucking face off. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> that was a bit much. Holy hell. What are you yelling about, you... Michael, yeah, I don't want to wear these clothes anymore. Let's definitely change that out. <laughs> Last... That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trade. Damn. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Damn. Suits. Uh, maybe... Outfits. Let's see. Let, eh. You look you look pretty good right there, buddy. We're gonna go with that. Alright. Let's go find out what Lester wants. Blow up something. Oh, Michael, my money, where is it? You know what me if it's again next time you'll be so I nearly done. Great. I nearly done. All right, let's get going. Wish my car was fixed. It wants me to take that other car. Uh, let, let's repark this one. Reparking. We'll switch out. See, see what this one's all about. Cause this is Michael's personal car, I guess. And it's the exact same car, just different color. Got it. I like my black one better. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm just... Gardeners, we need to check this. There we go. Better. Let's see, where do we go, where do we go, where do we go... We gotta go see Lester. Oh, choosing Lester. Let's do it. That was an asshole. Seemed to cut me off. 
Wow, everyone's just angry in this game. Is there anyone happy? I'm happy. A good day in Los Santos. Ugh. Pew, pew, pew! Yeah! Oh, that was a human being! That was a human. I just committed murder. Or... Uh, manslaughter. I wasn't trying to kill him. He's kind of got in the way. Too bad you can't, like, turn yourself in for crimes. <laughs> uh, I killed someone! <laughs> I can't live with the guilt. Oh, man. A long drive, Lester. Oh, thank you. Fucking guy, always in the way. Those damn trucks, man. Look at that one. Cut in front of me. We can do this. All right. Pew pew. I feel like I've been. No, I haven't been here before. This world's huge, man. All right. We're pulling up into something shady, I feel. Wonder if the ladder's there for a reason. Just checking. Nope, nothing. Maybe on the roof again? I don't know. Just see what's up here real quick. Got it, nothing. Can I just jump off this bitch? Thank you. Yeah, learning new new moves. Shucking and jiving. Yeah. That's a boss move, right? No, nope, no, I don't want... Ugh, controls! Oh, there's blood on the front of my car. Alright, let's go into this warehouse thingy, my bob. What are you doing in here, Lester? Jesus, Michael, you look like a bum! Put something nice on. Really? Get you? I, really? I, I. You're wasting my time. Ah. Fine, I'll change in the office, maybe. Nope, I got to really change. Serious? Why didn't you tell me that? Maybe. The sooner you change, the sooner we can find you a score. Mm, Get changed. Or a high-end clothes shop. Okay, we'll do the high-end clothes shop, and then we may end this episode before we do the loot, then. Alright, clothes shop. How'd you make it over here so quick? Hobbly motherfucker. Tell me I need to change my clothes. I'm going. Fucking asshole. Alright, high-end clothes shop. High-end clothes shop. Let's see. We're going there. Uh, out of my way. Damn, he's so needy. I even parked my car nicely for him. A little mad. Make me change clothes. I thought I looked nice for you. I cooked all day. <laughs> All right, we'll get some clothes. Ugh. for some clothes shopping.
him. Yup. Oh! Crap! My driving skill. Really? Why didn't anything happen to his car? Ah. Uh, I need to modify my car, man. Let's see. Can't believe I have to change my clothes to do this mission. Like, that's a little bit much. Little bit much for the game. Come on. So what if the investors won't I just park in the middle of the road, just so you guys know. Valet? As if. Welcome. Welcome. I want a suit. Oh, they are freaking expensive. We'll go charcoal suit. Why not? That better be swanky enough for you. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your... Oh, man. They know. Uh, we'll go back to Lester's real quick. At least activate it. Business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares sure, ain't worth dick. dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Throughout the game, contacts that can help with heist. So now I got a hacker. Cool. I'm assuming a hacker. I got a PC guy. So that should be worth something, maybe. Although he didn't know how to disable pop-ups on this freaking porno computer. Idiot. All right. I'm sorry, Minnie. I'm sorry, buddy. You just were at the wrong time, wrong location. Uh, so I was a bank robber, huh? Must have been pretty good with it. Must have gotten out of it, obviously. Not many criminals can get away with it and have an actual life, but... I guess that didn't happen that easily. Uh, I went the wrong way, huh? Let's go through here. Uh, where? Really, Lester? Couldn't pick a better place to, like, hide out? I park at the front like a boss now. You don't get good parking rights anymore. Alright, let's see. You were happy with my lights, apparently. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit hasn't been yet look I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks I wrecked his girlfriend's house I don't need to go crazy here which Mexican Martin Madrazo he's not supposed to be very nice oh, he's not I met him he was charming <laughs> <laughs> what do you think oh um let's see either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store which do you like well <clears throat> stores usually easier but I gotta make a big take well, gems it is then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement Vangelico ring. Vangelico engagement ring. Round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty hmm. City, but uh, he went quiet. 
Oh, reference! All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. And I'll have to reach out to some other guys. All right, guys, we're going to end the episode here. If you like this episode, make sure down below, hit the like button, uh, comment on it, and uh, try to hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of Grand Theft Auto. Bye!